Well, hey folks, how's everybody doing? Okay, today we're gonna have a little bit of fun. I'm gonna have fun, and you're gonna have fun. We're all gonna have so much fun, you're gonna be whistling zippity, never mind. Okay, so what we're gonna shave with today is another North by Northwest related shave. I know, I just saw this on uh, 4th of July weekend, and I made a shave with a safety, or a straight razor, because I'd seen it. But in that famous movie with Cary Grant, he shaves with a lady's boudoir razor. Not a travel razor for men, which are kind of about this big, but a little teeny tiny ladies boudoir razor. And the one I have is right here. The cutie. This is the cutie and it's got to be from the 50s, judging by the, uh, look out, there's nudity. There's a bit of nudity on this box. How many uh, young boys went into their mom's bathroom and got this box out in the 1950s and just went, oh, Look at that, but anyway. <laughs> so the, it's a little teeny, let me show you the, I'll show you the size comparison later, but here's the box and here's the Rockwell, see that? So the razor inside this is even smaller than the box. So let's do a little unboxing right now. You can see what's inside here and then we'll try to shave my face with it. I don't know how well it's gonna do. Cary Grant seemed to do okay, but it took him a long time. All right, let's do some unboxing. Look at this cute little box. And inside, an even cuter razor. I hope I don't get, uh, uh, in trouble for the, the nudity on this box from the 1950s. Now, there's not a date on here, so I don't know exactly, but it's got to be from the 1950s. It is scientifically designed for women. The Cutie Razor Set with three blades. I actually have more blades on the side. It removes hair from legs and arms. Additional blades are available. Gives perfect underarm shave and useful for shaping eyebrows. So let's take a look at this little cutie. I accidentally bumped the camera and almost knocked it on the floor. So here it is. It comes with a little tiny case. It's, there's so many things sub suggestive about this. So many things. The colors, the shapes, the... Whoa. Look out. Censored. Um, so here's the little carrying case it comes with. It says cutie on the outside. See that? On the back, it doesn't see anything. And inside is the cutie razor itself. Look at that. Now I want to show you size comparison to my Rockwell. Look at that. There's the Rockwell. There's the cutie. It's teeny tiny. Yes. And it is a three-piece razor. So you take it out of its little case and you unscrew the handle. There it is. Look at that classic safety razor design. Just teeny, teeny tiny. Let's unscrew it. So there's the handle there. Plastic handle or Bakelite. Uh, the one in North by Northwest was a metal handled version. So I don't know if it was the exact, it's not the exact same kind, but there you go. Look at that three-piece razor, and it takes these little blades right here, and they came with a bunch of them. I almost knocked the camera over again. I got a bunch in here so I can shave my armpits a whole bunch of times. I'm not going to do that, folks. But I am going to take, I opened up one of them already. I took the liberty because I was about to shave it, and I was like, I need to film this. So here it is, Cutie Blade, made in, in the USA. No date still. By Lappin Products Incorporated, 164 Delancey Street, Newark, 5. New Jersey, New York, New Jersey. It says this blade is designed to fit cutie ladies boudoir safety razors. All right, well, we're going to have a, a gentleman use it today. <laughs> At least try. I may have to give up after the first couple of scrapes. But uh, here's what it looks like. It's well wrapped. Look at this. There's so many little layers. It's like an, uh, unwrapping a flower petal. Yeah, more suggestive. And there it is. There's the little cutie razor. Can you see that? It says cutie on it, made in the U.S. of A. So let's go ahead and put the razor in there. I mean, put the, uh, yeah, put the blade in the razor. So you just stick it around on top just like you would. Remember, don't grab the sharp part. Even this little one will give me a decent cut, I'm sure. Looks like it's been well kept. Whatever lady purchased this, back whenever she purchased it, and you just screw the top on. Now you can hold the edges because it's not, uh, there's no blade overhang. And you just tighten it down, make sure it looks... All right. Well, I think let's give it a shot and see how this does on my face. I'm not going to shave my armpits or any other boudoir areas, so don't worry about that. This will be, as usual, safe for all ages. So here it is. The cutie all ready to go. Look at that. It's so small. It's so tiny. I don't have a ruler or else I'd measure it. It's a little over an inch tall. Uh, you figure that out from millimeters and stuff. But anyway, all right, let's lather up. Now, he had a little teeny miniature... Uh, Oh, I got it. I forgot to get my little, uh, my little basin out here. Let me fill it up with some hot water. 
See, I got all excited. I wasn't gonna make the video about this one and then I took the little cutie out and I said, I gotta make a video with the cutie. So let me just fill that with some hot water. I did just take a shower and I did my hair. So I'm gonna put some hot water on my face. And then I'm gonna lather up with, um, with a, uh, a shaving cream that's been around a long time and I love it. It's Chela, Crema de Barba. Smells like almonds slash cherries. Oh, so good. So this would have been around in the time of uh, the 1950s. Now I'm just gonna use my, I don't have a miniature brush, so I'm gonna use my old uh, Sinatra Linen synthetic brush from DS Cosmetics. And I'm gonna lather up and we're gonna see, I don't, I don't, you know, when you use vintage blades sometimes, they've lost their edge, even if they were well kept. Sorry, let me show you what I'm doing. And so I don't know if this is gonna shave very well. And I'm sure that the stubble on my face is more stout than the stubble in some elegant lady's armpit or other areas. Wink. Maybe their upper lip. I know ladies don't normally shave their lip because they're afraid that it's gonna grow back thicker and more coarse and uh, that's the same thing, thicker and coarse, right? And more plentiful. Is that a myth or is that true? Because I've heard that a lot. It's like, I don't wanna shave because then it'll just make it worse and make more hairs grow. I don't know, scientifically, I don't know. All right, here's the cutie. All right, I'm gonna... Now, in case it doesn't work at all, uh, like I said, sometimes vintage blades, no matter how well kept, don't keep their edge. So I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try. And if, if it doesn't, I'll just pull out the old Rockwell. All right, cutie. I don't know how long it's been since you shaved anything or what the last thing you shaved was, but here we go. All right. Um, which, how do I normally start this? Okay, here we go. Ouch. It's working. It's working. It's going to take me about seven hours. Ow. Oh, <laughs> I think my whiskers are too thick for it. Should I? No. No, I'm not going to do it. Said I wouldn't, not gonna do it. This would be great for just like trimming like ear hair even. Let me trim a little ear hair. Yeah. Get right in there and get in the crack the cracks. <laughs> the cracks and crevices. Alright. Ooh. Ow. Ow, it hurts. It hurts. Mama, it hurts. It hurts me, mama. Alright, I don't know what voice that was. Speaking of voices. I was just on the Opinionated Brit podcast this past week. Thanks, Andy. Go check it out if you haven't listened yet. Go look on iTunes or just do a Google search for the Opinionated Brit podcast and you'll find it. Oh, this gets under the nose real easily. It's so small. It's so cute. Ow. Oh, it's really pulling my hairs. I don't know if it's the blade or the thickness of my beard. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cutie's beating me up. I know some guys like that, but it's not, it's not, it's not, my, thing. not my thing. Yeah, uh-huh. I'm not a masochist. <laughs> I'm looking for the easy life now. <laughs> not that I ever... Never mind. All right. The cutie. Yeah. So when Cary Grant was shaving his face in the train station and the guy with the straight razor was looking at him funny, you kind of held it up to him and just like, <laughs> it was really funny. Cary Grant had a great uh, sense of comic timing. But uh, he finally came out of the bathroom and she said, took you a long time or something like that. And he said, well, I got a big face, tiny razor and a big face. And I definitely have that tiny razor and a big face. Now, you know what I should do? Because I'm not going to have a use for this cutie afterwards. So if there's any lady viewers, lady shavers that watch this one, my video, or watch my channel, and you would like to win this little cutie, well, just put a comment down below saying you want to win it. I want to leave it open first to, I know there's a few lady shavers that watch. She shaves with Jill and one of the great commenters, Annika and girl Alex. So it may be a small group that are uh, looking to uh, to win it, but I want to give it away because I'm not going to use it after this. This is just a, a fun little... I like to keep myself entertained, folks, in case you hadn't, hadn't noticed. Ooh, around the chin areas, really. So anyway, leave a comment below. 
Lady Shavers. And then I'll do a random drawing uh, in the next like week, like maybe I'll give you a give you a week or so. I don't know if it'll take that long to get all the entries in. And then I'll uh, I'll send it to you. Oh gosh. I had to do very small little things. Don't worry, the second pass I'm not gonna use this. I'm just gonna do it for the first pass. I'm gonna go long strokes here. So I don't bore you to tears or uh, scrape my skin off. Ooh, I think it's working okay with longer, lighter strokes. I was kind of pushing maybe a little too hard. It's doing better like this. I'll give it the feel test here, here in a minute when I, when I wash off my face. That's kind of cool. I saw one of these for the first time in an antique store and I had no idea what it was. It just was, it didn't have the box or anything, it just had the little case it was in. I was like, that is the cutest, and they wanted like some crazy $45 for it. This did not cost anywhere near that. You can buy these on eBay, that's where I got this, just on eBay. <laughs> Look at that. It's the... Daddy, tell me about the good old days and Grandpa Grungy. Well, sit down over here, let's talk. All right, cutie. Oh, let me wash off and see how cutie did. Little cutie. It's, it's not great, but you know what? It would, if as ladies do, would have finer hair under wherever they're shaving. I mean, if it did, this is passable. I could stop right now and go out, and uh, I mean, I could do that anyway without shaving. But you know what I mean? This is a passable shave with a teeny tiny little cutie, and put you back in your, and clean her up, and put her back in her little case, and send her off to some some new nice person will be able to use her, or at least just have them in the collection. All right. Now we're gonna let Daddy Rockwell take over. It's like take your daughter to work day, but then Daddy's gotta get back to work, do all this boring stuff he's gotta do, and you and Mommy go get ice cream. I wanna go get ice cream. It was National Ice Cream Day the other day, according to social media. All right. Oh, there you go. Just slicing. Right through. Can't beat a Rockwell. This is the Rockwell 6S with a feather blade in it. I use the number five plate. I get that question a lot. I use the number five. There we go. You can kind of hear how, much, uh, how many whiskers were left. The quantity of whiskers I had left behind by the cutie. But yeah, I like to do things, you know, I try to keep it interesting. I try to keep myself entertained and interested. Because if I just did the same thing every week, why would anybody care? Why would I care, right? So I tried. I got a lot more stuff. I still got that uh, whole total vintage Barbasol shave I got to do with the Barbasol razor. The vintage Barbasol safety razor with the floating head using the old Barbasol in a tube from the 50s. So the razor is from the 30s, as far as I can tell. Shaving cream is from the 50s. And then I've got a whole box of vintage Barbasol razor blades and the display they came in, which I don't know if I'll be able to use the blade on, because they each come with a little blade caddy. Like in modern times, if you buy uh, razor blades, they come in these little caddies, these little plastic where you can put the, the used ones in the back. And that's what these Barbasol ones look like. Look on my Instagram, because I posted a picture of it a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Instagram is just Sinatra Lennon. And uh, so when I was trying to get blades out of each one of those little dispensers and I tried them all, they were all stuck together, not, not rusted, just stuck together. So I'm gonna try to pry one loose and uh, do total vintage Barbasol shave. Now, I don't have any vintage Barbasol aftershave, but uh, you know, you can't have everything right, folks. Just be grateful and thankful for what you do have. I try to remember that all the time. <laughs> I don't wanna give anything away, but uh, on the Opinionated Brit podcast, he does a name that tune type contest or guess the intro of songs. So you have to guess what song it is just for like two to three seconds of an intro to the song. And I don't wanna brag or anything, 
but I beat Kevy Shaves by one point. So I got that going for me. Kevy's great. He sent me the funniest voice message concerning that. <laughs> it was so great. I'll have to figure out a way to play it for you guys. Because he was doing his BBC announcer's voice. If you know him, he's got this great Scottish accent, but he was putting on this English BBC announcer's voice about a shaving lunatic in Austin, Texas. Was caught cheating on the Name the Song intro contest. It was the funniest thing I ever saw. Kevy, you're the best, man. So, of course, I sent him one back from CNN discussing how Kevy had been nabbed for illegally trying to smuggle in an entire cargo container of Barbasol because he wanted to take over the Barbasol industry in, in the UK, and we all know you can't get it over there. So it broke every shipping law, every import-export law, I'm sure. It's going to... He claimed he was going to be the new Barbasol boy and uh, he was going to change his channel name to Humperdinck McCartney. I mean, Sinatra Lennon sounds good, but Humperdinck McCartney? I don't know. I just, my thoughts and prayers are with Kevy right now in this difficult time. Losing by one point. Evans. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> cold water. Ah, not cold enough. They keep promising we're going to have rain. We haven't had rain in a while. But I know it's hard to predict the future. Weathermen. I feel for you. Weather people, weather ladies, weather persons, whether or not. All right. Shade. shade. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh, no, not you, Chella. Ooh. I haven't done this in a long time. The chiseled face cryogen. It's got witch hazel in it. It's got alcohol in it. Mmm. And it's got a lot of menthol. It's got a load of menthol in it. Just a little bit. Ooh. Let you know you're alive. That's a that's a milder one than the wet the face cold fusion. And a totally different scent. Ooh. And a beautiful color. Look at that. It's like a fine, not too long aged whiskey. Not too long. Maybe ten years. No caramel color added. All right. So little cutie. So proud of you. You did so well today. Oh, I gotta, gotta pose for the uh... <laughs> thumbnail. Anyway, so that's the cutie razor. And thanks everybody for watching. Uh, remember to enter below, lady shavers, if you wanna win it. Or even if you're a lady and you don't want to shave with it, you just want it, put it down below. And then I'll do a drawing coming up in the next week. And uh, hopefully I'll get to the post office and send off everything I'm supposed to. I owe two other people boxes that I still have here, but since this whole thing, you know. Anyway, have a great weekend, everybody, and I'll see you all on Monday. Bye.